Hello everyone, I'm happy to have this opportunity to speak to you. I'm Hugh McQueen, I'm a professor emeritus at Concordia University. This means that I've been there a long time and have now retired but keep on working. Uh, I'm going to speak about my papers that appear in the Canadian Metallurgical Quarterly. I should just point out that I will refer to these papers as my papers, but they all had co-authors and if you check the papers out, you will see that frequently the co-author was the leading writer of the paper. The first paper uh, took place about 1968-69, and this was a paper on hot rolling of aluminum and also of copper. And we were doing very high rate rolling, uh, so uh, in order to get very high strains because we were trying to look for dynamic recrystallization okay and the specimens were given a, a 90 percent reduction or a strain of 2.3 uh, uh, at uh, about 0 0.6 of their melting temperature and then they were quenched immediately they came out of the rolling mill by falling into a, a tank of ice brine uh, we found great differences between the aluminum and the copper. Uh, the copper had almost completely statically recrystallized. Okay, there was no dynamic recrystallization because of the high speed uh, of the test, uh, but it had statically recrystallized uh, because of the fact that there was such a high dislocation density in the material. In the case of aluminum, however, it did not recrystallize at all. Uh, it was uh, still in the deformed condition and we did electron microscopy of both of them and we did find some non-recrystallized regions in the copper but as I said the aluminum was completely not recrystallized. We did two temperatures and we could easily see that the subgrains are much larger uh, at the higher temperature of deformation. The second paper that appeared in the Canadian Metallurgical Quarterly was perhaps a, 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 was a few years later and uh, this was on the hot torsion of aluminum 0.65 iron. Uh, the 0.65 iron is quite important uh, because it in the long run prevents the alloy from recovering and softening at low temperatures. The, the iron is present as particles uh, uh, and so consequently it does not reduce the conductivity uh, to any great degree. Okay, the three papers that I've been talking about up until this point were performed mainly to see how the structure developed, whereas the next two papers that we're going to talk about on the basis of extrusion were more to see how the extrusion process worked, okay, and uh, so we used the same general principles uh, uh, that we were examining the microstructures of, of the material and try to correspond those things now and uh, not to the flow stress but to, to basically what the stresses that were involved in the extrusion process. Uh, um, and so we studied three groups of alloys, the aluminum, uh, aluminum magnesium alloys and aluminum magnesium silicon alloys or the 6000 series alloys. Okay. Uh, uh, basically the substructures develop uh, in the extrusions the same way as they do in the simple torsion set tests or rolling uh, 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 and uh, uh, these are of interest to explain uh, why the extrusion has certain properties, okay, and because of the very high strain rates and the strain gradients from surface to center, there is quite a variation uh, in the extrusion. And so the, the most important part of the extrusion is the surface where the subgrains are quite small and that provides the best strength to the extrusion. In general, one should try always to use an extrusion without cutting off the surface, otherwise one removes quite a bit of the strength. Anyway, the aluminum magnesium uh, uh, behaves in many ways uh, like the aluminum. However, uh, uh, the magnesium has quite a strong effect in retarding 
the motion of the dislocations be, be, because there's an attraction uh, of, of the atoms, of the magnesium atoms, into the, 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 the surrounding area. And so the processes are quite a bit higher. The subgrains are, are quite a bit smaller. The factor is about four in, in, in both cases, four, four, four times as strong and one quarter the size of the subgrains. Uh, uh, the last group of alloys, the aluminum magnesium silicon alloys, uh, um, are the most important alloys for extrusion. They represent the biggest tonnage of, of, of extrusion and they, of course, uh, have a variety of characteristics from the viewpoint that depending on how they have been preheated, they may have different amounts of particles or they may have more of the elements in solution. Okay. So the main effort of my work for the last 50 years has been the hot working of, of aluminum alloys and I must have worked on the order of 30 or 40 different alloys from every class of aluminum metallurgy. I have been interested in writing review papers so I have on many occasions gone to conferences and, and provided clean, plenary lectures on different aspects of hot working. Uh, I decided uh, about f five or six years ago to prepare a book based on my research and also the information I had acquired from other people's research as appearing in the literature. Uh, and uh, uh, so about a year ago I submitted that book and after considerable uh, effort on making sure that it was uh, revised properly, indexed properly and all the rest, uh, it is getting ready uh, uh, to appear in publication. Uh, uh, the title of that book is uh, Hot Deformation and Processing of Aluminum Alloys and in this uh, adventure I was helped by several colleagues that I've had over the years. Uh, in addition to myself, there was uh, Stefano Spigarelli uh, and Enrico Evangelista from Italy. Uh, 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 they ha had been uh, uh, working with me for quite some time. Uh, uh, and then uh, an important uh, writer was uh, um, Mike Kastner, uh, who uh, uh, has worked uh, uh, at Naval Postgraduate School uh, uh, at the uh, uh, University, uh, University of Southern California and presently is a director of research in one of the U.S. government departments. Uh, so uh, combined we had uh, quite an extensive uh, uh, experience uh, in the aluminum uh, hot working and uh, we've tried to produce a book uh, which gives a clear explanation of all of the mechanisms and also of the processes of uh, rolling, uh, extrusion and forging.